Hey Virgo, it's Dana with Deep Thoughts with Dana, and these are your deep tarot thoughts for the next couple of weeks, right? Two to four weeks, give or take, depending upon your individuality, how you process things, and what the particular situation is in your life. This is a general reading for the sign of Virgo. If you have Virgo anywhere in your chart, this reading very well may resonate with you. Even if you don't have Virgo in your chart, if this reading resonates with you, it's your reading, right? But nevertheless, do not ever make life-altering decisions in re uh, uh, from the information that you receive from a general tarot card reading, okay? Don't do that. If you would like a reading just like this, just for you, just for your situation, 50 bucks will hook it up in the link in the box below until August 1st. On August 1st, I will no longer be offering $50 readings on YouTube. Um, everybody will say it takes, pay the same price across the board. I have three different client bases, right? I have um, the regular people, and then I have people coming over from the radio show, and then I have YouTube, and it's just like a shit show. So um, no more $50 readings on August 1st. If you have been a client of mine up until this point or before August 1st, you will forever and always get your $50 tarot card readings. No questions asked from the bottom of my heart. You will forever and always get your $50 tarot card readings. Um, if you schedule an appointment, even if you schedule out for December, if you schedule an appointment before August 1st, I will send you a link where you will always and forever be able to get $50 tarot card readings, okay? All right, so no worries there. All right, Virgo. Um, so yeah, link in the box below if you'd like a personal reading and um, deepthoughtswithdana.com is the website. All right, you guys. So Virgo, this is like a really weird reading, a really, really weird reading. And I thought I had it nailed until I got to the last two cards and it just blew my mind. So um, I hope this isn't too narrow because it's a very specific reading. But anyway, you'll have to drop me a comment in the box below if it resonates with you because it's a very, it's a strange reading, Virgo. All right. So what we do, what we got, what, what we do, Virgo, what we do, what we got going on is the four of pentacles, right? To the queen of cups, to the ace of cups, to the five of wands and the princess of cups. What's going on here is the four of cups, it says you are insecure. Queen of cups, about your feelings. Ace of cups, overwhelming feelings of five of wands. Lots of conflict, right? Disagreements, competition, strife, tension, conflict. To the princess of cups. Now, normally, this would be a messenger, of a creative beginning, right? But no, 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 no. In this, this card is about a creative block, right? Because normally it's about creating a beginning, but this card is about a creative block. Creative being, I'm not saying that, you know, you, you can't draw, right? Creative being when it comes to building and creating this relationship with whomever or whatever this is about, there's a creative block, right? I almost want to say um, Five of Pentacles, you feel left out in the cold, but it's not that, but it has the kind of the same feeling to it, right? There's a creative block in your feels um, for, for some reason you are... Um, extremely insecure in your feelings, overwhelmed with emotions of conflict, and you have, you're have you having some kind of a block when it comes to your feelings for this person or this situation. Justice comes in down here in the second row, first card, second row. Justice comes in um, and talks about where there was unfairness, there's now fairness. Where there was deceit, there's now truth, right? Universal law, cause and effect. To the ace of swords, because of some truth that is spoken. Okay. Justice in the ace of swords. I wanted to know what this truth was, right? This truth is that... Okay, so you're you're not feeling the love up here, Virgo, right? You are not feeling the love at all. So somebody comes in and gives you their truth, which is no, no, no. Everything's okay with the page of cups, right? Everything's okay. Here's my cup of love. It's all good. 
to the five of cups, but you're not buying it. You're, you're not buying it. And with the two of swords, you're still feeling the way that you feel up here, conflicted, right? But more communication comes in from this same page of cups right here. More communication comes in, but now it's escalated a little bit to the Knight of Swords, right? Now it's about, um, it's a little bit more urgent. And what this urgency is, is the Knight of Cups, right? So we've escalated from the Page of Cups to the Knight of Cups, and we're communicating with the Knight of Swords. What's going on here is that you're, you're pout. I don't, okay. I'm not going to say pouting. I'm just going, I, am, I, I did not mean to say that. What I'm going to say is, is that your person or your a situation has noticed that you are not feeling loved and that you're insecure about the situation. Okay, and that you're kind of checking out with that creative block with the Princess of Cups right there, right? You're kind of checking out. So they come in and with the Ace of Swords and Justice, and they're like all, no, no, baby, it's okay. It's all right. I love you, babe. Here's my cup of love. Love you. Love you. But there's Virgo not, 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 not buying it. Not buying it at all with the Five of Cups. This Five of Cups is about loss, regret, disappointment, despair, and it's about moving on, right? So maybe this person's asking for forgiveness right here and Virgo's not buying it, right? Or maybe they're just asking for forgiveness all the way around. And put the Two of Swords comes in and says Virgo's still not buying it, right? However you want to read those cards, Virgo's still not buying it. So they come in a little bit sharper with the Knight of Swords and with the Knight of Cups. Now they're, they're, they're escalating, right? They're like, oh no, I love you. You are the love of my life. I love you. I love you. I love you. Um, either forgive me or I forgive you or um, let's just make this all right and carry on. I am your knight in shining armor, answered to prayer, male, female, doesn't matter. With the Three of Swords, this tells me that there was some grief that was that you felt in your heart up here, but with this Three of Swords and this all this all this extra coming in, Three of Swords is saying that they're saying, <laughs> Three of Swords is saying that they are saying, let's let's release this pain, let's have some optimism, let's forgive, let's make up, right? That's what they're doing. They want to make up with you, okay? They tried just being, you know, a little bit flippant about it at first. And when Virgo rebuffed them, they came back and a little bit stronger and said, no, 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 you don't understand. You don't understand. I want to be, I want to be your knight in shining armor. I want us to share cups of love and, and let's heal this. Let's have some optimism for, and some forgiveness, right? Hierophant in the center of your reading. This says that two things, one of two things, either for a moment you're in, or it says that you were never in, but they just kept going on like things were okay. Okay. Either way, Virgo, either you were never in and they just keep on going on like things were okay, or you were in for a split second. I can't tell. So however it fits with you, but nevertheless, commitment of some sort is restored in the relationship. And the Ten of Cups comes in and says everything goes back to normal for a second, right? Harmony, happiness, values, alignment in your relationship. Four of Wands, security, stability, structure, foundation, harmony, all the stuff that a good relationship is supposed to be built out of. Two of Cups and a unified love partnership, right? Down here, we have the Judgment card, right? This judgment card is somebody making a very serious decision, right? I mean, it's 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 an absolution. It's a decision that you're making right here or somebody is making right here to the nine of wands that perhaps you were just a bit paranoid up here, right? The decision that you're making is perhaps you were just a bit paranoid and there's nothing to worry about. 
but you sit down in your hangman energy, right? That's why I say maybe you weren't all in from the get-go or maybe you were in for just a second because down here you're thinking, you know, eh, I was just being paranoid. It's okay. But in your heart of hearts, you're really defensive and on guard, okay? In the hangman energy, you're pausing, you're processing, you're surrendering, you're coming out on the other side with a new perspective, and that perspective is some kind of um, decision, right? But in the meantime, we have broski or siski over here just thinking that everything is okay, right? They're thinking everything is okay and just rolling right along. But Virgo's decision right here with the lover's card to the chariot to the knight, to, I'm sorry, to the Prince of Swords or the Knight of Swords and the Fool card. This is Virgo. Okay. Okay. We got, we got the other thing, the other energy here, thinking everything's just fine and carrying right along with the lovers in the chariot. But Virgo comes in with a decision from the King of Swords right there. Communication with the Prince of Swords, action oriented communication with the Prince of Swords and says, nah, I don't think so. I don't think so. I, oops, sorry about that. I just really don't think so. I think I'm going to just head out on my own. I think I'm just going to take a new beginning, take a new journey, take a knee on this whole relationship, and I'm going to carry on. See, that's what freaked me out, right? And to tell you the truth, until this very minute, I didn't even see it like that. I was going to read this little pocket of cards a completely different way, but now I see the truth. <laughs> okay. To the seven of cups, the seven of cups is about choices, options, um, confusion, decisions that need to be made. <coughs> Excuse me. Wishful thinking and illusion, right? And what you're thinking with this seven of cups is that all of this apology or I love you stuff up here was just a bunch of bullshit, right? Um, you're, you're, you're wondering with the, with illusion, right? That, uh, perhaps things are just going to bounce back to you feeling like this all the time or something. I don't know. So I asked for clarification for the seven of cups and all of these cards came out. And, you know, normally when, a, when a stack like this comes out, I'm just going to kind of pick it up, put it back in the deck, but I felt led to just kind of check it out. And lo and behold, here is the backstory. <laughs> Freaking amazing. Here's the backstory. So options, confusion, right? On your own, taking a new journey, right? This is what the other person wants to do as well. They want to move forward in a love relationship, chariot, roll on out, but Virgo's like, nah, I'm going to do it by myself. <laughs> so seven of cups, right? You're confused because seven of pentacles, because you've been reflecting and assessing. Remember you were in the hangman back here making decisions. You've been reflecting and assessing, right? And I think the four of pentacles guy, I think he's pretty much a thinker too. Six of swords about getting the hell out of Dodge. The Eight of Pentacles, been thinking about, about what it is that you're going to do for yourself. Um, maybe what, maybe what kind of um, money you're going to make or how you're going to make your money, right? It's you're, you're thinking and, and reflecting and assessing and processing all of this right here. So you're probably thinking about a lot of things, but one thing that's on your mind is your money because the, the Empress in reverse says that you feel a sense of codependency. You feel a sense of codependency on this person for some reason. The six of wands, you want public recognition, victory, progress, and success. But this also says that you maybe feel codependent on this person for your well-being, right? Two of wands, you have a fear of the unknown, though be it you want to plan your future on your own without this person, place, or thing. Wheel of Fortune comes in and says that, uh, and says that you are, um, you're, you're ready to close out this chapter of your life, start a new chapter in your life, right? Totally ready to close it out and start anew. Five of Cups. Yeah, you know, it's regretful, but got to do what I have to do. 
Five of Cups is about loss, regret, disappointment, despair, maybe even some bereavement, right? But you're moving on. You're moving on. You're moving on. The Ten of Pentacles. Loneliness and loss, yes. But also what you're moving on to is your own stability, your own sense of security, and you're going to build your own future. And the Princess of Pentacles comes in and says that you are going to manifest either a new financial opportunity or a new prosperous opportunity in your life somehow, some way. All of those came out at the same time. Is that crazy? Now we have the high priestess. This high priestess is you sitting down with your subconscious mind and your intuition to complement this decision that you're making with the king of swords over here. What your intuition tells you, Virgo, is, is it going to be easy? No. But you need to transition and quickly. True. True. High priestess, intuition, subconscious mind is telling you to be strong. It's not going to be easy, but you're going to have to do it. Yeah, I'm going to have to have strength. To the four of wands. Yes, this four of wands is all about celebration, harmony, home, community, marriage, all of that stuff. But it's also about a breakdown in communication and a transition. And that is what your intuition is telling you to do if this reading is resonating with you crossed by the eight of wands, speed, action, travel, movement, and swift change. Don't hold off. Don't delay. Do it, do it, do it. Wow, Virgo. See, I told you it was a crazy read. Crazy, but I like it. I like it. I like it. Yeah, nobody, nobody wants to live like that. Screw that, right? All right, Virgo. Well, hey, that's your reading. I do hope that you enjoyed it. Uh, again, link in the box below if you'd like a personal reading from me until August 1st. They're 50 bucks. Otherwise, y'all have an amazing weekend and namaste.